hey, what's up? So I wanted to talk tonight about relaxing scents, but first I want to uh, show off a couple things. So um, one is Jitterbug perfume. Um, there you go. Uh, this is an awesome book. Um, if you're into perfumes, I recommend this as a read. It's a fiction book. Um, it's by, done by Tom Robbins. It's the guy who also wrote uh, Even Cowgirls Get the Blues. Um, it's a really awesome book. So I highly recommend it. Really enjoying it. I read it um, when I have free time at work. Um, next, um, we got a couple Aventus Killers um, clones, if you will, in the mail. We got um, Glenn Perry, Unpredictable Adventure, and Insurrection Pure 2. And this is just for a cheap cologne, it's got a beautiful box. Um, out of the two, um, I, I really like this one a lot. Um, although people say the Glen Perry smells more like Adventus. Um, and then we also got some vintage bottles um, this week. We got this. Maximums. De Paris. This is, uh, this is me in 1984. It's an awesome, uh, perfume. Very strong powerhouse. We also got some of these little, uh, Paloma Picassos in the original formula. Uh, this is the full perfume concentration. And this is the Ode perfume. And she, she's Picasso's daughter. She's also a jeweler. She, um, makes, she made jewelry for Yves Saint Laurent's Tiffany. Um, she's made a whole bunch of other stuff, purses and this and that. And then she started making perfumes in the eighties and that, um, perfume, she was inspired by Chanel when she made it. So it's another strong powerhouse. It's very animalistic. So can't wait to test that one out. And then I had to get this Electric Youth because it's so 80s. And when I did that 80s um, vintage video, I was like, oh, God, I got to get that bottle. That bottle's so cool. So that's just, it's very fruity, <laughs> very feminine. But I had to get it for the 80s bottle. It's just so freaking cool. That Electric Youth. It's Debbie Gibson. So for those of you who remember her. I remember this uh, perfume and uh, yeah so let's get on to the main topic sing scents scents that you can put on um, after you take a bath or um, if you just want to lounge around the house and relax and just chill out um, just eau de colognes um, you know they're only gonna last a couple hours um, they're especially good to, for wearing to bed to relax uh, after you showered or whatnot. Um, so let's talk about the first one. This is Roger and Galet Bois de Orange, and um, it's got a uh, neroli and a bunch of oranges, and smells a lot like um, 4711. It's a little bit stronger, but I find this one to be very relaxing. Um, after a bath to wear that one. And uh, we have another Roger and Galley. This is Lotus Blue. And um, this is a very nice scent. It's very relaxing. Um, it's definitely in the style of older colognes. Um, it's a little bit sweeter, but I also find it very relaxing after a bath to wear around the house. Uh, we have, of course, the traditional 4711. This is awesome. After a bath, you can uh, spray it on. And it's very relaxing. It's got neroli and rosemary and all kinds of stuff. And it's one of the original colognes. It's a great 
great after our bath to relax in. And then we have the 47 Nouveau cologne. That's also great. Um, it's a little bit sweeter. It's got black occurrent. And I'll, and it's um, I find it to be very relaxing though for wearing around the house. And then we have El Rehab Green Tea. Uh, this is green tea and citrus. It's very awesome. I find this perfume oil to be very relaxing. Um, we have Vanilla Fields. It's uh, a vanilla scent. It's a cheapie. It's made by Cody. Um, but I also find it to be very relaxing uh, after a bath to wear around the house. We have Yardley Lavender, which came out in the 1800s. This is also a great one for after the bath. It's very relaxing. They also have April Violets. I also like this one after a bath. I find it very relaxing. It's a nice violet of English Rose. This rose might be a little bit too strong for some people, but I find it to be very relaxing after a bath. It's a nice rose scent. And here we have a lavender oil that I find to be very relaxing. I got it at a hippie shop and um, it was really cheap. It's only $6.50 and it's uh, Lavender Dreams. They can't see if the camera can focus in on it. And this is Auric Blend. Auric Blends. Um, I think you can find these on Amazon also for pretty cheap. Also another uh, relaxing scent uh, that I like a lot. It's a body shop. It's Zin Zinzibar, but it's discontinued, but you can find it on uh, eBay for really cheap. And this is like a, it's a ginger, uh, ginger floral. I, I find it to be very relaxing and it's got a little bit of spice in it, but I find the overall scent to be very relaxing. So there you go. Those are some ideas for uh, good relaxing clones to um, wear around the house after the bath and and just chill out. So there you go. Hope you enjoy. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.